this is where you and I take a front row seat at the year's most fashionable wedding. We're going to see the marriage of the Honorable Patricia Mountbatten, daughter of Viscount Mountbatten of Burma, to Captain Lord Braben of the Coldstream Guards. Apart from that old troublemaker, the English weather, everything was perfect when Lady Mountbatten arrived with her younger daughter Pamela, who was to be her sister's bridesmaid. Then came the Duchess of Kent with her little daughter Princess Alexandra. And what a thrill there was when we saw the royal family. The two princesses made really beautiful bridesmaids, and on the steps of Ramsey Abbey, tall young Prince Philip of Greece was waiting for them. The old abbey, the flowers, the crowd, everything was ideal. As Prince Philip spoke to them, I wish you could have seen Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret. They were wearing the most marvelous medieval dresses in forget-me-not blue. Then Lord Louis himself arrived, escorting his daughter, and I'm sure you'll agree with me that Miss Patricia was the loveliest bride of the year. People watching simply gasped when they saw her dress. Classically cut, it was a gleaming silver gold brocade. And here, just to remind the older ones, are the pictures Pat they took in 1922 at the wedding of the bride's father and mother. Many memories must have slipped back to this Mountbatten wedding of 24 years ago when young Lord Braeburn and his bride came out of Ramsey's thousand-year-old abbey after the ceremony. First to greet them was Petty Officer Holder with the traditional lucky horseshoe. And among all the 1,500 guests, the three princesses and the bride's sister rejoined the king and queen. With members of the Mountbatten and Braben families, it made the ceremony a really royal one. It was a day, I'm sure, which no one who saw it will ever forget. And before we leave it, I'd like to wish the bride and groom, on your behalf, long life and the very greatest of happiness. The wedding of Lady Patricia Mountbatten and Lord Raven at Rumsey Abbey on the 26th of October 1946 in the presence of their majesties the King and Queen. The bridesmaids being Princess Elizabeth, Princess Margaret, Princess Alexandra and Lady Pamela Mountbatten. This was one of the first occasions when the future Prince Philip appeared in public as the escort for Princess Elizabeth. And you will see him assisting both Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret with their coats at the porch. Clothes rationing was still in operation following World War II and the bride's golden wedding dress was made from silk sari material from India.
Rumsey Abbey was the scene of the wedding. And here's a final checkup of the arrangements being made by Viscount Mountbatten of Burma. Naturally, intense interest had been aroused by the wedding, and many people took up their positions long beforehand in spite of rainy weather. And incidentally, a brisk trade was done in flags and streamers. Every possible place from which to witness arrivals had been occupied for hours when the mayor and corporation formed a dignified procession through Rumsey towards the abbey. Hearty cheering accompanied every car through the town. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr. Fisher, arrives. He was performing the ceremony. Then followed some of the many guests. Their cars were left a little way from the abbey, as you see. Lady Mountbatten with her younger daughter, the Honourable Pamela Mountbatten, one of the bridesmaids. The Duchess of Kent with the youngest bridesmaid, Princess Alexandra of Kent. Meanwhile, at the entrance to the abbey, Prince Philip of Greece waits to escort the royal family from their car. Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret, both acting as bridesmaids, wore very attractive full-skirted dresses of pale blue. Prince Philip was one of the ushers who were all naval officers. Onlookers could only catch a glimpse of the bride, the Honourable Patricia Mountbatten, as she drove in her car right up to the abbey door. Wearing a beautiful dress of silver gold brocade and a veil made from the tool worn by Lady Mountbatten at her own wedding, the bride enters on the arm of her very distinguished father. After the ceremony, the bride with her husband, Captain Lord Brabon, walked past the Guard of Honour formed by the bridegroom's regiment, the Coldstream Guards, and Petty Officer Holder presents a lucky horseshoe. It was a shame that the weather had done its worst, but nobody seemed to take any notice of this. It was far too happy an occasion to be marred by rain or mud. Rumsey Abbey, the nation for the first time saw a new significance, a naval lieutenant, Philip Mountbatten. The royal family attended the wedding of Earl Mountbatten's daughter, Patricia. At the abbey door, Prince Philip paid particular attention to Princess Elizabeth. Soon, a family secret was known to the world. A princess had found her prince. To the king and queen, it was a warm and human note to mark the approach of their own wedding anniversary. For their hope was that the joy they had known in 25 years of married life would also be the blessing of their daughter. And so, what was a nation's romance was fulfilled. There was the wedding, and with it once again, an unforgettable demonstration of public affection for a family honored and beloved. King and Queen, memories of their own happiness of 25 years crowded in. Their good fortune in each other was that, too, of the people they served. And at this time of personal joy, a family of nations would rise with heartfelt gladness to pray with deep sincerity, God save the King. <laughs>